Oh shit. Oh Christ. Oh god. Is he down for the count? No, he's not. He is down for the count. Okay. Get fucking down. Oh my god. He's Servus. Hi. Hello. I am scum. We all are scum. We are the thing that rises on the top of the water as you're boiling or blanching meat to make fruit soup. We are the thing that gets discarded. Welcome to scum, everybody. Yeah, I hope you made, I made your day better, I hopefully. So what is scum? Scum is a video game that I've been playing a lot ever since my friends introduced me to it. Within good reason, uh, the game is very good. Any Rust or Daisy player will feel right at home here. Oh. <laughs> oops, 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 oops. Don't look, don't look. Yeah, in this game you can see everything. I'm gonna create my character. I'm gonna talk about what the game is and how the game works while we're already in there. I'm not gonna bore you with the character creation, so... I'm gonna do some movie magic. Alright, so this is gonna be very interesting. I have not played a build quite like this before. We will see. There's a lot of new farming and cooking stuff in there. I don't think I took any farming, but I did take uh, cooking, which is going to be interesting. Where are we dropping, boys? Where are we dropping? Is that the... Oh, shit. Oh, shit. No, no, no. There's no bueno. Actually, it is kind of bueno. This might, this might actually be the most bueno location I've ever been in. Holy shit. Navigate. I can't navigate. Why do you always do this to me every time? Thank you. Oh, got hit by a tree. Holy shit. Okay. So what is scum? Well, many players will notice that it does look a lot like uh, Rust and that it's a survival game. Why can't I find any fucking rocks? There we go. And yes, you would be correct. It is very much like Rust, DayZ, all these other games. Uh, in that you run around, you survive, you have to get, you have to get stuff, you have to get rocks, you have to craft, all that good stuff. But where it differs is that big old chip you see in the back of my hand, well, which I will probably explain, maybe, who knows, maybe I will, maybe I won't. It's all up in the air. I gotta get myself some basic tools here. Feeling slightly chilly, why? Is it because I'm in the shade? Craft. This is the boring part of the game, the part of the game I don't want you to see. It's just this, watching the progress bar go up. Very entertaining game, very much entertaining. Put that in my pants. Uh, put this in my holster. Oh, beautiful, we actually got two big sticks. You heard nothing! Is that an Amanita? No, that's actually an edible mushroom, okay, good. Let's make ourselves a bow. Very beautiful. We have an axe and we have a bow. Okay. Good. Uh, I'm also... Should I or should I not? There's a village up there and there's a factory over there. Which means I probably should strip down everything underneath. Cut it into rags. Right? Come on. This has purpose. Trust me. I'm not just stripping down for your entertainment. Improvised backpack. Okay, so this is pretty atypical for me, but I, I don't usually craft this much. Uh, I I um I cannot talk today. God damn it! Uh, I typically only go for a spear and just start whacking. But considering that this is here, uh, yeah, we're gonna need some more uh, kit. So I have all this now. I'm gonna try to check out this place over here uh, as I try to explain what scum actually is. So as mentioned before. Uh, as I mentioned before, Scum is like Daisy and like many of uh, many of these other games uh, to do with zombies and survival, right? That's pretty evident. But what's different about this game? That's a very bad shape one. Is that it takes it to a whole nother level, the survival aspect of it specifically, uh, and it's very, very fucking brutal and very, very realistic. And I can illustrate this by just going to this tab, the metabolism. The metabolism tab. Yeah. Every stat you can possibly imagine you have to manage, from blood loss to the actual amount of blood that you have in your body, uh, to what you're eating, to what is actually getting metabolized, all this shit. There's a lot. 
there's a lot you're gonna see it's a fantastic game trust me i thought this was a military outpost or a military installation rather but it's not Missed. Didn't miss that time. Ooh. Ooh. Archery for the win, man. So I'm gonna do something, uh, kind of gross. Don't worry about it. They like it. Hmm. Beautiful. Don't ask why I need those. I need them. It's for research, I swear. A pan! My god. Can I get that? Because I would like to try the new cooking. And, oh. This game knows me too well. Oh god. I hit the railing instead of the goddamn puppet. Is that a vest? Oh my god. Yes, thank you. I will take that. Am I bleeding? Am I bleeding heavily? Meh. I do hear a goat, but I don't have enough inventory for goat. Which sucks for me. Bah! Bah! I can do that too. Bah! This place doesn't really have all that about it, does it? Thought there'd be more. There really isn't much here. Ooh, there might be an uh, an administrative office. An administrative office. That is hard to say. Can I shoot you through the railing? Boy got hops. Boy got no more hops. Ooh, is those military crates? And is those better boots? I will take better boots. Any day of the goddamn week. I would like to take those too as well. Here's what I'll do. I'll drink my beer. Get a bit of that stress off, you know what I mean? Put that down there. And... Hmm. Starter bank card. It really sucks. I'm gonna drop that because I actually do not need it. I'm gonna put some ears in my... Uh, I'm gonna put some ears in my shirt pocket. It's just not anything here. Give me something, man. Hello. Ooh, right in the face, buddy. You don't mess with me. Sit the fuck down. Sit down. I was hoping to find some thread or some rope or something around here, or at least a backpack of some sort, but no, it looks like this game is actually gonna try and screw me over actively. That's good. So we're going to go to, over to north. It's north, right? Yeah, over here. It's like a little village. Oh, that's the new town, though. I don't know. We'll see what we'll do. We'll do something. That's for sure. Okay, so we left that place uh, way back there behind, and we're currently making our way through the forest up to uh, here. Which, I don't actually know what that is, I haven't ever been there before, but we got ourselves some pretty good kit. We got duct tape, we got screwdriver, we got some ammunition, lockpick, knife, uh, a pan, and an onion. I want to try the cooking stuff, that's why the pan and the onion are there. Uh, why can't I talk today? That's why the pan and onion are there. Hello there, buddy. Uh, so yeah, as I was saying, this game is fundamentally different from games like uh, Rust or uh, Daisy or whatever in that it's a lot more realistic so that you really have to be a lot more prepared when you go into fights and things like that because the simple bandage will not stop you from dying, it will stop you from bleeding, but then the healing part comes afterwards, right? So it's a lot more brutal in that sense. And where it also differs is if you look at the back of my character, you'll see that little... Uh, little chip little chip over here um here's a bit of a lore dump for you in this game you are actually a prisoner incarcerated for arson most of the time in fact i think that's the only crime that i've seen 
uh, and you're sent on an island, uh, much like things like PUBG or whatever, uh, to survive. But the key difference here is that you are on a game show. And on this game show, or at least I think it's a game show. Uh, at least I think it's a game show. Uh, you are essentially... Entertainment for probably millionaires or billionaires or whatever. It's a story as old as time, but it's very interesting in that these puppets also have that chip in the back of their head. So, these were once just regular old players. Which are now being controlled by way of this chip at the back of our heads. This one. To act out as zombies and attack us. Which is kind of fucked up if you think about it. And also, there's so many puppets on this island. How many people were incarcerated by these game show host people? It's kind of messed up to think about. I have been very pessimistic this entire fucking episode. Holy hell. How are you doing? I hope you're having a fantastic day. I hope you made some progress on whatever project you have. I knew you can do it. Yeah. Daily recommended dose of autism out of the way. Now let's get back to killing people. Hello, buddy. Rawr. Oh, right in the fucking face. Do you have any money on you, mister? Nah. Nope. Jesus Christ! Fuck me, he's Chad mode. Oh, I got a pee. Don't look. Don't look. Look at me. You don't look at him, you look at me. Right? I'm peeing. It's disrespectful to look at somebody pee. Yes, uh, that's what I was talking about before when you, um... About realism in this game. It is ridiculous. You have to pee, you have to poo, you have to manage everything. Now that I think about it, considering that I am the player controlling this character over here. Oh. Yeah, considering I am a player controlling this guy with the chip inside of it, I wonder if I'm one of the game show hosts. <laughs> that would be really interesting to think about. Alright, what is this place? Another construction site? Are you kidding me? I doubt I can find anything good in here, but I'm gonna damn well try. It's the only place for miles. And I don't have a means of transportation, which sucks. Man, you guys are just dropping like flies. Hello! Oh. Oh shit. Crap. Here's an in-depth lesson about this game, my boys, my friends. Uh, C1s, not that bad. C2s, very fucking bad. I have no other choice. I have to sacrifice my shirt for this. And my underpants are probably gonna have to go as well. Alright, now we can treat it. Is four enough? Barely. Barely enough. Once this bar reaches all the way around, you can actually treat the wound. Um, C1s are not that bad. C1s are basically just like a little tiny scratch, essentially. Uh, C2s, uh, they keep increasing until they get all the way to a C4, which is just death. You will not survive that. You'll bleed out. Well, now we can't run anymore because, yes, running will actually, uh, open this wound back up. There's so many cars and so much stuff. Why didn't I start over there? Why did I run up here? I'm an idiot. It's somewhere up there in the forest and it's making me smile. <laughs> hey, brother! How's it going? Thread. Okay, uh... Damn it. I'll come back for the knife. I do need this. Okay, uh... Oh, there is a car. But it's banged up beyond belief and truth. <laughs> True to real life, it has all of its wheels stolen off of it, but it does have an engine. No alternator, though. No battery, even. Darn. Dimidrat. We're gonna need to go to crafting, and we're gonna need to get ourselves a better backpack. So we need... Thread, four large sticks, an axe. Oh, we need improvised sewing kit and thread. Okay, we can use rope. That's fine, then. Avert your eyes. This is horrible to watch. Right on the back, too. Oh. There you go. Need that. I also need a bone. Because I need to craft it into a needle. We're going straight up cavemen into this.
Ah, yes, we can make it now. Okay. We're also gonna make, uh, we're gonna go full caveman, apparently, because I'm not near any big settlement or whatever to where I can find backpacks, so we're forced to do this, basically. Uh, we're also gonna craft a quiver, which, where is that? Animals can quiver, yes, that. Improvise some kit, yeah, 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 yeah. This, this is so useful. It's unbelievable how useful that is. This no more. I'll take my two knives. And I'll skedaddle, skadoodle out of here. I'll check that, that door down error area. Man, we're using so much human skin. We're fully cavemanning it up right now. <laughs> Quit. Oh, that's beautiful for me. That is gorgeous. All right, we're looking kind of good, actually. We're a bit caveman-ish, but hey, don't judge. I gotta survive somehow, right? I'm gonna check the rest of this place out, uh, see if there's anything else I can find, and that's probably gonna be where I leave it off and tell you guys some more of what I remember about this game. A piece of rubber, that's rare. Oh, good. God. This isn't good. This is very bad. Oh shit. Oh Christ. Oh God. Is he down for the count? No, he's not. He is down for the count, okay. Get fucking down. Oh my god, exactly as my axe wore out. Where are you? I can hear you. Frank? Bitch got the matter. Oh, did I neglect to mention that this game is apparently made by uh, a small studio in Croatia? Which I love that for them. Okay, uh, so I think that's going to be it for this episode. Uh, it was chaotic, as I would have expected. Uh, but yeah, uh, I hope you give this game a try. It is a very fantastic game, even though this wasn't the best showcase of it. Because yes, this game will mess you up in the beginning. And it is a brutal and hard game. But once you get used to the mechanics, once you get used to all these uh, tabs up here and all this <laughs> just brutal stuff, it does start to be a fun game. Especially when you get a vehicle like a car or a bicycle, that's when the game really starts to open up because then you can start traveling all over the map, exploring these big, beautiful cities, the coastline, and all that. It's it's very fun. Uh, there's a lot of servers for this game. Maybe I'll check out some of the servers every now and again. That's going to be it for me. Uh, I hope you enjoy this. Uh, please put uh, down in the comments if you want to see more scum or if you want to just see me mess around with some other games. I will do that gladly. And hope you're having a fantastic day. Hope you're having a fantastic time. I hope you were entertained. I have been Code King, and I'll see you in the next one. Take good care. Servus.